Good morning, kids! I am so glad to be with you today. This is our English class. We are on the fourth week of the fourth quarter. And our learning objective for today is interpret a pictograph, simple graphs, and tables. Before we proceed to our new lesson, let us review our past lesson with a direction in circle or circle the letter of your answer. For the first question, it is a visual representation of a place. People use this when going to an unfamiliar place. A map, B paper, or C board. Number two, one of the features in a map that shows direction is what we call A title of the map, B legend, or C compass rose. And the last question, why do people need to learn about interpreting maps? A because maps show the exact numbers of population. B so we will not get lost along the way in going to unfamiliar places or letter C because map does not show information about places. Good job! We answer it right. For our new lesson, let us take a look at this picture. Number one, what can you see in the picture? Very good. Number two question, are you also eating fruits? Which fruit is your favorite? Kindly comment your answers on our chat box section. And I'm so glad to read all of your answers. And number three, how many are strawberries, cherries, bananas, pears, and watermelons? Let's start with the strawberry. Let us count them. We have one, two, three, four. Good job. We have four strawberries. How about the cherries? We have three the bananas are five, and the pears, two, and watermelons, four. Very good. You did it well. The informations gathered a while ago can be presented in several forms, like these illustrations. Do you know all of this? This would be our lesson this morning. So these are examples of what we call graphs. Do you know what are graphs? Graphs are drawings that show mathematical information with lines, shapes, and colors. They are also called charts. We use them to compare amounts of things or other numbers. There are many different kinds of graphs. Some of the most common kinds are circle graphs, bar graphs, and line graphs. First, the circle graphs. Circle graphs are also called pie graphs because they look like a pie that is divided into parts. These are examples of circle graphs or pie graphs. Number two, bar graph. A bar graph shows amounts as bars of different sizes and sometimes of different colors. Bars can be presented vertically and horizontally. Number three, the line graph. Line graph uses dots connected by lines to show how amounts change over time. So these are examples of line graph. And the last kind of graph is what we call a pictograph. A pictograph is a diagram showing information by means of pictures and symbols. Again, these are examples of pictographs. For our first activity, we have here a direction, study the bar graph and answer the questions. Number one. How many kids like apples? Four. 
4. Which fruit did the most kids like? You're right, the oranges. Number 3. Which fruit did the kids like the least? The fruit called banana. Number 4. How many kinds or how many kids like bananas? Good job! Only two kids like bananas. Next question. How many kids like pears? Only three. And the last question. What kind of graph is this? Well done! This is an example of a bar graph. We need to remember that graphs are drawings that show mathematical information with lines, shapes, and colors. We use them to compare amounts of things or other numbers. There are many different kinds of graphs. Some of the most common kinds are circle graphs or pie graphs, bar graphs, and line graphs. For our last activity, answer what I have learned with a direction, study the bar graph and answer the questions below. For the first question, how many students choose blue as their favorite color? Very good! Six of them like the color blue. Next question, how many students choose both yellow and pink? Yes, they are three. And the last question, list the colors in order, from most votes to least votes. Excellent! They are the blue, orange, yellow, pink, red and green good job kids we answer it right thank you so much for listening i hope you learned something new today until we meet again bye